Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is PJP and in this video I'm gonna be checking out B2B's Drunk, Difference, Compass and Li Chang Soup from B2B's Shelter and I think that song was requested to me by someone but it was a few days ago and I have a terrible memory so uh, if it was requested to me by somebody I'm gonna put your name on the screen I hope, we'll see, most likely I will but I'm sorry if I don't also, I'm sorry if I have reacted to different compass. At this point, I have lost count, but I did check it. I did write different compass in my channel name, and it didn't show up. But just in case, I'm apologizing beforehand. So, without further ado, let's just get into the reaction. Starting with B2B's drunk in three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna be I really like Il uh rap style. It's definitely the most satisfying to listen to. He has very similar style to Sugar from BTS, and I think I have mentioned this before, but still. I'm really loving, uh, I think at this point I'm a true melody. Because I, I, I genuinely love B2B so much. Like, I'm, I'm liking them so much. I'm even surprised myself. Honestly, if I never listened to their B-sides, I would probably never have fallen in love with them. Ooh, this song is definitely going to my favorite uh, B2B songs. Honestly, I'm surprised how good this one is. I didn't expect it to be this good. I think it's gonna be it's so good that it's gonna warrant a second reaction be just because I enjoy it so much. The rapping is great, the singing is great, I love it. I really like the beat, it's really satisfying. It's definitely the, the best B2B song in a while. I think ever since last day, my, maybe even, I don't know. Definitely, I think uh, last day uh, is the most recent song that I still remember. So I guess it might be uh, that good. But yeah, let's listen to it again in 3, 2, 1. Yeah. 
It starts off already great, but it slowly builds up and it gets even better. Oh, this is so satisfying. I love this part. The chorus is fucking great. Honestly, it's kind of sad how, in my opinion at least, B2B's B-sides are miles better than their title tracks and it, at this point it has been months since I reacted to their title tracks, so maybe I really enjoyed some of them, uh, but I don't remember. Except movie. Movie, I still like. But. What I'm trying to say is a lot of the B-sides I feel like would benefit from being title tracks and being uh, having a music video and also I feel like in general there's a different way uh, going in to write a B-side and title track and I feel like a lot of these uh, songs would feel more powerful and more epic if uh, they were title tracks, this song included because there are some parts in this song which go a bit too slow and personally I don't like that and I feel like if it was a title track it wouldn't go that slow because I really like the beat uh, in the chorus but I don't like how slow it goes afterwards So I don't have really anything to add to what I already said so I'm just gonna go for the ratings and personally I'm gonna give this song a 9 out of 10 with the possibility of it being 9.6 but there are some criticisms for this song which I already said about the slowing down also I like uh, the opening rapping mainly because it's the style uh, of the rapping that I really like, but I feel like it, it could have been a bit better. I don't know, it just could have been constructed a bit better, I guess. I don't know how exactly to explain what I mean. I feel like it just could have been a bit more polished. Um, but overall, it's a really good song. Not a perfect one, mind you. Uh, I explained why, so yeah. I'm gonna give it, personally, a 9 out of 10. And honestly, objectively, 9 out of 10 as well because I don't feel like it deserves a 10 out of 10 and I explain why be mainly because I feel it could have been better if it had a, a music video because it would have been kind of written differently but yeah overall I really like it and it's one of my favorite B2B songs for sure Maybe mainly the chorus, because the chorus is the part I really like. I don't like when it slows down, honestly at all. It kind of kills the whole uh, vibe of the song for me in a way. 
it doesn't ruin it completely, but it's very close to doing so. But anyway, let's move on to the next song before I fall asleep, because I'm gonna start just rumbling at nothing, so let's go into Jifren's Compass in 3, 2, 1. I don't think I have reacted to it, so hopefully I'm not wrong. This is one of their uh, from the one of their older albums, right? Probably from one, from the first two. Again, judging by the pictures. And it also has this kind of uh, powerful innocence sound they were praised for having. Honestly, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but different and twice kind of give me a very similar feeling uh, from their B-sides from back then they're not necessarily the exact same style but they can't give me the same feel plus there were some b-sides which i did react to i don't remember which one it was that literally was structured exactly like a twice song I really love about uh, Jifren's old sound is that it was innocent but not necessarily it is cute, agio kind of uh, sound. That kind of made them stand out a lot. Nowadays I don't know if I love it or not, ne never really thought about it to be fair. They've definitely not annoyed me with their change of sound as much as others like BTS or TWICE even. But still, for all three groups I love their sound beforehand more. I don't know if you agree with me, but I think the common thing between different and Twice's B-sides is a lot of them kind of sound like Disney songs. At least a little bit. Also, I gotta mention that this different song seems to be one of those which I've mentioned has something similar to a lot of 70s songs where the lyrics just feel perfect because I did react to some 17 songs and if you guys want me to react to other 17 songs because I actually really want to check it out but people didn't really request me any 17 songs to react to and I didn't just want to randomly pick them uh, uh, but I want uh, to be requested songs that other people think are really good and that would be worth reacting to. But yeah, I did react to 17 songs. And one thing I mentioned about 17 songs is... And maybe I'm just the one noticing it or pointing it out, but a lot of 17 songs just feel perfectly written from lyrics point of view. Like, they sound perfect. I don't know exactly otherwise how to explain it. And I've noticed for at least some different songs, and I think I've mentioned for every single one where, which I thought so, thought about it, but a lot of some different songs do sound, uh, some different songs lyrics also fall in the same category of seem perfect, this one is one of them. And yeah, as I said, I really enjoy this song, but there's no 
much to say about it because there are not really standout moments. Like, it's great, but nothing really sticks out as amazing or terrible. So, you get what I mean. Um, personally, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 because I really enjoyed it, but mainly can't give it a 10 out of 10 because it's not the main style of K-pop music that I, I enjoy. Although, it might as well be a 10 out of 10, honestly. I guess it just didn't blow me away, but I do think it's pretty much flawless. And because I really can't pick out anything terrible about this song, I am going to give it objectively 10 out of 10, because it's perfect, kinda. It might not uh, do anything amazing or unique, but it's satisfying and entertaining. So, yeah, that's why I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. And I know I kind of sped up through this reaction, but it happens. So let's move on to the last song of this video, that being Lee Chang Soup's Shelter. So let's go in three, two, one. I'm sorry, I have terrible memory, but I reacted to his uh, solo song Gone, right? If so, this song already starts a bit more interesting. Okay, so far, the only thing that I'm really liking is the instrumental. Although the beat is a bit too generic. I expected a bit of a different uh, rhythm for the chorus. And I'm slightly disappointed that it didn't go in that direction that I expected it to. But this song definitely stands out more and it's more unique than uh, uh, his solo music video song. Like this song feels like it has more ups and downs compared to that one. And honestly, I, that's exactly what I prefer in songs, for songs to have ups and downs, parts that I like, parts that I not really care about, parts that I hate. I'd rather have that than a song that is just fine. Okay, this motar kind of kills the vibe. Or maybe the rhythm, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. But I, I like how it start, the chorus starts to build up, but that point that just kind of kills it. It, it kind of angers me, honestly. And that definitely, that need pick definitely shaved off some uh, points in my rating. I mean, now I'm kind of starting to get used to it, but uh, I just wish it was going the way I thought it was going to go.
Okay. Overall, I think the vocals on this song are really great, and I think the song is actually really good. But there are obviously a few nitpicks overall that I have, which I already kind of pointed out uh, some of them. I like that it's more different and, and that it tries more than Gone. It, it's not like Gone didn't try that much, but it was more of a safer a ballad music video. And I don't love uh, ballads that much. At least specifically that kind of ballad. But I kind of like this one uh, a lot. Still not gonna be listening to it, most likely on my own. But I do like it. And personally, I'm gonna give it an 8.6 out of 10. And if you're curious, I was planning to give it a 9 out of 10, but because it didn't go in the direction I expected it to go during the chorus, I decided to shave off 4 points of, or 0.4 points off of it. But still, it's pretty good, and objectively, I am going to give it uh, a 9 out of 10. And yes, for songs like this, which have their up and downs, which I explained, I prefer than a song be safe do tend to not have a 10 out of 10, but it happens. I'd rather have imperfect 9 out of 10 song that has some really great moments that rather than a 10 out of 10 that it's really perfect. And I know this comes literally after me reacting to different Compass and saying that it's a fine 10 out of 10 song that doesn't have really outrageous moments, whether bad or good. So I'm sorry about that. But it's I'd say mainly both types of songs have their time and a place, so to speak. But yeah, I like this one. And yeah, if you guys have any requests for other songs, comment them down below and I'll make sure to react to them as soon as I can, but I do not promise anything. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Check out the list in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you do enjoy my stories, or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon, where you can pledge your support, any amount helps, any amount that you can spare uh, helps uh, support the channel and keep it going for longer and longer, because I don't know what the future holds, might have to uh, do less videos and other things like that. But if you don't want to do that, you can still help me out by liking this video, subscribing, and especially by sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!